Welcome to another Skype tip by me, Julie Wolf. Today's Skype tip will be, in this video, this short video, how to start a second Skype account. So the first thing we need to do to start, start a new Skype account is to log out of this one. The one, your first account, your main account, whatever account you happen to be in. That's the sound. Okay, here we are at the main Skype menu, main Skype, main Skype window as I call it, and where you get to log in. Well, here's one way to create a new account without using your old Skype name, without logging in. Right below the Skype name window you see a link that says, Don't have a Skype name? Da 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 da! You click on that and you can fill in a new type, a new Skype name. I'll make a third Julie Wolf 3. Full name. Oops, what do we want to use for full name? We want to use a real full name. If you want to get known, liked, and trusted online, it's a good idea. There, how's that? I'll just put Julie Wolf. Julie Wolf 3? Nah, just my real name. Okay, so uh, my new. Skype name or Skype ID will be Julie Wolf 3. It could be test. If you're making a test account. Okay. Um, with your initials or whatever. And then make up a password. Password, password, password. Repeat password. Okay. And you have to agree to the license agreement in terms of service and privacy statement. So you can see this is this is interesting to make note of. Fields marked, I don't know if you can see this in the video, but there's a little orangey reddish asterisk. Fields marked with an asterisk are required. You'll notice that full name is not a required field. Apparently some people like to uh, hide and not use their full name and uh, you won't get a lot of respect. You won't get uh, known, liked, and trusted as well that way. So um, I'm putting a recommended red star here next to full name. Use your full name, please. Otherwise, we show you how to do it in your profile later. OK, then we hit Next. You need a valid email address. Uh, I'll put uh, oops, careful about spelling. Julie at incomeassurance.com. You can decide whether you want to get Skype news or offers. This is a multiple account, so I'm going to uncheck that here. Um, Country, you got to choose your country, uh, city. Um, sign me in when Skype starts. Mm, if this is a second account, you might want to uncheck that. Might as well start with that unchecked and go ahead and sign in. The Skype name you chose is already taken. Select from the following suggestions. So apparently Julie Wolf 3 is taken. Okay, I'll go with that one. That's fine. Maybe I'll try Julie Wolf 4 just because I'm curious. <laughs> and you get this getting started. Hello, getting started is a simple guide for setting up Skype. You can test your sound settings. Find and add your friends and give them a call or text them. Remember, you can text, send instant text messages, not just voice. And to continue, start here. And it's interesting in the background, we have Julie Wolf 4 here with my only contact being the Skype test call. So that'll test your sound. 
check did your sound work it's telling you how to do that so basically you got the idea that's how to create another account you can go through these next windows congratulations now you can add more friends to Skype well now you can test you can have a test account or a second account again your main account should have your real name as your Skype ID if you don't have very many contacts in your Skype yet and you have random letters and or numbers as your Skype ID you might want to start now before you gain a lot of Skype contacts and start a new account with your regular full name as the ID even with those if you have a lot of Skype contacts um, you might not want to change to a new main account you can always use your full name in your profile even though your Skype ID will be random letters and numbers that can still work ask me more about that at our webinars and you can finish this da, 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 da. to find out more about our webinars go to incomeassurance.com slash blog and click on the Skype broadcasting tool message magic and we'll have um, an email update list there um, I, where I will send you um, where is it do, 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 do. there it is message magic support email list and you have to confirm that uh, confirm your email address and I will send you some information by email about how to get connected uh, another great way to get connected would be to go to incomeassurance.com slash Skype from there you can um, contact me on Skype with the of course you can download that great big button with a little Skype flying Skype icon jumping into your computer is a link to actually see it turns into a hand that's a big link to download Skype for free there of course it's free at skype.com as well but I wanted to provide that as well as a few other things like how to contact me uh, better not to call me but you can chat with me and you can view my profile and you can add me to Skype and I put this here as a demonstration of the buttons you can have on a web page to have people contact you on Skype and uh, you can watch cute Skype movies they're really funny they make me laugh and of course we've got my Skype tips um, email newsletter which is different than the message magic update newsletter but we invite people to our webinars from both of those Skype lists um, so you can sign up here to get Skype tips by email and you can also um, uh, connect with me on Skype from here and um, start asking me questions join my Skype room so there's a lot you can do so I hope this has been helpful. Again, IncomeAssurance.com Skype is a good way to connect with me on Skype. It's a good way to get going on Skype. Download it free if you haven't yet. And uh, connect with me with chatting or adding me to your Skype here. Thank you for watching this video.